Hi and hello everyone. Welcome to the Nursing Virus YouTube channel. This is me Loganathan and this video regarding the JIPMER examination which was held on the date of 18th December 2022 for the Nursing Officer post. Here we are going to see the questions which they asked in the JIPMER. If so far if you are not subscribed my channel don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you will get all my video notifications. So here we'll go. The first question, identify the range of motion exercise which they given in the image. So they given an image that is the body towards outside. It is a kind of an image based question. So the options they asked abduction, adduction, rotation and flexion. So in the image the leg were extending outside the body. So it is called as an abduction. So this is the correct answer. So the adduction means that is a towards the body and rotation they might show with a circular arrow and flexion also it will be more or less adduction. So in the second question identify the rhythm in the given ECG. They given an ECG rhythm and they asked to identify the option they given ventricular fibrillation, asystole, pulseless electrical activity and ventricular tachycardia. So we know that in the ventricular uh, fibrillation there won't be no pulse with that irregular beats on that uh, ECG rhythm we can see. So the correct option easily we can go with the ventricular fibrillation and if it is asystole mean that is a kind of a straight line we can see. And third question, the patient with chronic renal failure and the lab finding showed that the potassium level 6.2 milliequivalent per liter, what would be the expected ECG findings? So the options are tall TV, ST segment elevation, ST segment depression and flatter TV. So in the question we can see that the potassium level we are getting increased, the normal value is we know that that is a 3.5 5 milli equivalent so that is a normal range so here the patient is having hypo sorry hyperkalemia so the patient will used to get tall TV so that is a direct question so and if it is an ST segment elevation that is MI and ST segment depression will consider as angina pectoris and flatter TVs we can see with the hypokalemia the fourth question tetanus toxide produce what kind of immunity so the options are active immunity passive immunity artificial immunity and acquired immunity so we all know that so the tetanus toxide is an acquired immunity so that is the correct option so the fifth question the lifestyle modification can come in the which level of prevention so the lifestyle modification always come with the primordial prevention so that uh, primary prevention secondary and tertiary those everything will be focused regarding that uh, health education and screening process and rehabilitation services so the lifestyle will come under always in the primordial prevention so and sixth question the global maternal mortality rate is planned in the 2030 that is the rate the 30 per 1 lakh live birth and 50 per 1 lakh live birth, 100 per 1 lakh live birth and 70 per 1 lakh live birth. So this is the correct answer even this question were asked recently in the previous examination also. So seventh one on the neonate with the after five, mon five minutes of Abgar score which of the following is not included. So the question is having a correction which is included. So the temperature will not be considered in the Abgar, that is the blood pressure also will not be considered and the growth rate also will not be considered. So the muscle tone, the reflex will be considered, that is the appearance, pulse, gray maze and respiration will go and that activity. So in the eighth question, the woman identified with a single cervix and its end with the two uterus is known as, so that is a bicoronate uterus. Here the person will use to have the single opening of cervix and that it will go with the two uterine. 
Ninth question for the diagnosis of tuberculosis, the purified protein derivatives need to be injected for the best result is. So this is also a direct question. So we know that the intradermal administration of the tuberculin that is a protein purified derivatives will give the best result for the Montag test for the TB confirmation. The next one, tenth. Two people CPR, how often the cycle need to be changed? Every two cycle, every five cycle, each cycle and no need to change. So we know that when the two persons were available, for every five cycle, we can go for the changeover. And the eleventh question, the patient with uh, dyspnea, so what is the best nursing uh, responsibility to do the positioning? So the first question, First option, Fowler's position, Sims position, Trenderbuck and Supine. So we won't give that uh, Supine for the immediate relieving of dyspnea. Trenderbuck also is not recommended. Supine also will not be recommended. So that will further increase the so dyspnea. So that uh, directly we can go for the Fowler's position. That is a uh, 45 to 60. Or so suppose if they are given as the high fowlers, we'll go with the 60 to that 90. The next one and psychiatric patients receive lithium 300 mg. So what is the blood lithium level expected to send the patient to the home? So we know that so whenever we are checking, whenever we are giving that lithium, we need to check the lithium uh, therapeutic level. So the normal therapeutic level will be considered as sorry 0. 6 to so 1.2 milli equivalent per liter so this all will be indicated as the kind of an toxicity level so the first option 0 0.6 milli equivalent per deciliter is the correct one so next one the golden color amniotic fluid expected in which of the condition the meconium aspiration or H incompatibility acute fetal distress and fetal death so we know that that or H incompatibility will always give the golden color amniotic fluid the next one during birth the neonate weight is 3 kg the baby weight expected at the fifth month so the options is 5 kg 6 kg 4.7 kg and 7 kg so we know that so from the birth to so that uh, 5 to 6 months the baby weight will used to get double so the 3 into 2 so that 6 kg will be the correct answer Next one, the antidepressant drug of choice for the tobacco addiction syndrome is fluoxetine, acetylopram, and bupropion and pyroxetine. So the correct option is C, bupropion. So in the 16th question, an aptitude question, how many triangles are given in the pictures? So options are 8, 10, 12 and 5. So here we can calculate that is in surrounding side we can we have the five triangles then we can go with the this form so if you are calculating then another five triangles will use to come so totally the ten triangles will use to get so next one again aptitude question in the room the first five members average weight is 45 kg and that uh, sixth person were entering into the room now the average weight will be 50 kg so what will be the sixth person weight they are asking so here we can go with a simple calculation that is the average is equal to total sum and the total number so sum weight of the first five members so the 48 into 5 that is a 240 kg so again then uh, sixth person will be considered as x so 24 240 plus hex divided by 6 so that will be equal to 50 average so that both side we can need to calculate and we can when you are minusing with the 300 we will get the option of 60 so the 60 is the average weight of the sixth person 18th question the international day of uh, charity is observed in the September 5, September 28, March 5th and December 18. So on that uh, September 5th, the International Day of Charity is observed. So again, next one, the psychiatric question. 
the people knows about the self and aware about his illness is considered as judgment abstraction memory and insight so the correct option is insight so when one person is knowing about his own illness for example whatever the problems they have for example if they have about uh, i am getting fear i am getting depressed if they are saying like that by themselves so that is considered as insight so next one again aptitude question the distinct akriya abhinaya makeup or make mask can be done in which kind of dance that is odissi kuchipudi kadakali and ballet so on that kadakali the face will be covered with that full makeup and mask over can be done when they are dancing and the 21st what is that 103rd constitutional amendment act published in the news recently the options are 10 percentage for the reservation for economically weaker section and reservation for the high social group for the women so and remaining two more options related with the particular act so among this the correct answer is the 10 percentage of reservation on the economically weaker section is amended in the 103rd constitution amendment act so the next also aptitude question how many words with or without meaning can be found by using all the letters of the word delhi using each letters exactly only once so here the total letters can be considered first five letters and the total number of words we need to calculate so the number of arrangement of five letters taken at the five p5 so that is the simple calculation we used to go that is the 5 divided by 5 minus 5 so that uh, one time if we need to calculate all the number series so we'll get with the multiplication of 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so the total 120 words can be formulated with the delhi word by repetition of for without with or without meaning of the particular words the next one the fetal well being body movements using muscle tone breath movement and that amniotic fluid and that heartbeat volume can be measured by which of the following test so if you are going for the each test there will be an uh, certainly assessed for only one that is a non stress test triple test biophysical profile and cardio tocography so if you are going with a biophysical profile alone we can measure all of the things which they given in the question so the remaining rest of the things only the specific activity of the baby can be measured for example cardio tocography can be measured for the fetal heart rate and the blood pressure so the next one how many hours after the cesarean section that the breastfeeding should be initiated the options are 30 minutes 1 hour 2 hour and 4 hours so uh, so for in case of a normal woman they used to go for the within 30 minutes so according to that uh, who guidelines the breastfeeding initiated state that keeping mother and baby together for at least first hour for the post birth lead to improve the initiating and duration of the breastfeeding so the option may go for the either one hour so i am not uh, confirm with this answer so in that uh, 25th question so what is the not mature defense mechanism that is adaptation intellectualization sublimation and suppression so this uh, all three defense mechanism will be considered as one of the positive defense mechanism so in that uh, adaptation will not even considered for the defense mechanism side so these are the first 25 questions which are given with the rational so the rest of the questions we'll see in the upcoming videos so if you know any questions with that options you can type it in the comment box even if there is any corrections with these question and answers you can write it in the comment box because it's only the memory based question and answer and thanks for watching the video we'll see in the next video